The Galaxy S20 range is amazing and I have 10 tips, tricks and hidden features for the S20, the S20 Plus and the S20 Ultra. So now you can zoom like crazy, get high refresh rates, see captions live on any media and a ton of other useful features. But also stay until the end because I have some sick free wallpapers for you guys. So let's get into it. Single Take is a brand new mode within the camera application and it is so good, guys. To toggle it on, all you do is you swipe to the right hand side and then what you're gonna do is hit that record button. And what Single Take does is it takes a 15 second video clip and then using artificial intelligence, it extracts all the best moments from those 15 seconds. So as you can see, here are the best moments captured, but it even puts filters on your images. It makes a hyperlapse from the 15 second video clip and even a boomerang. It is honestly the best Best thing since sliced bread and here is an example I took at Krispy Kreme. This was the super simple 15 second video clip I took and just like that I got these amazing images. I did not take a single picture in Krispy Kreme other than a 15 second video clip. So this is so insane and you guys gotta try it out. For all my music lovers out there, this one is gonna blow your mind. Let's just say you're at a party jamming some Spotify, but a friend wants to jam some music too. Then all you do is swipe down on the notification panel and toggle on music share. Your buddy then brings their phone in and also swipes down on the notification panel to toggle on their music share. And what this music share does is it allows your friend's phone to play music via yours into the Bluetooth speaker. So watch now how the one phone pauses when I press play on the other one. The bam, just like that. You you can double DJ it up the entire night with your buddies. And what's also great about this is it plays the music from your friend's Spotify and then jumps back to your Spotify. So you're not actually controlling the same song. You're literally playing songs and your favorite tunes from your own Spotify. So on the S20 Ultra, you get a hundred times a space zoom, which is pretty insane and a lot of fun to use. If I open up the camera app to zoom into an object, Right over here, you're going to see all the various lenses. So right now we're on the wide angle and if I click on it, here are now all the zoom options. So this one is on five times zoom and as you can see, we're busy looking at a frame. But if I click on 30 times zoom, it says, don't forget to like and then we go to 100 times zoom subscribe what i also really like is this little window that pops up on the left hand side to show you exactly what it is you're looking at because this section can become a little bit blurry and confusing so when comparing wide angle pictures to a hundred times space zoom it is pretty mind-blowing but just one thing to note is in photo mode you can use the hundred times zoom but unfortunately when in video mode you can only zoom to 20 times but this feature is still amazing Live caption is another super cool feature and to activate it, you just click down on the volume button and then you'll see this down arrow on the volume slider. Some other additional options will pop up and then right over there, make sure you toggle on live caption and now you're set. And what live caption does is it automatically creates captions when any speech is detected from media. So as you can see, whether it's on my Instagram stories or a video in my Instagram feed, it automatically dictates the media so that you can read the captions live. I mean, how amazing is that? What is also awesome is it automatically places the captions smack bam in the center of your screen, but you can move it around to anywhere you want. Then if you turn off your Wi-Fi and mobile data, you will still have access to this live caption and it'll still dictate all your media. For example, this is a little video clip I took in my studio. I played it out loud on my device. And as you can see, live caption is still dictating with no problem at all. So whether it's YouTube, Instagram, or even just home videos, you can use live caption all the time. Time. Yep, that's right. Samsung have introduced something called Quick Share. And essentially, it's the same as iPhone AirDrop, but for Samsung devices. Finally. And to activate it, all you have to do is swipe down on the notifications panel and toggle on Quick Share. Just make sure that your friend's device or other device also has their Quick Share toggled on. And then you're going to find the picture or file you want to share with them. So I'm just using this free wallpaper. Then you're gonna click on the share icon over there and you will see the other device pop up. So here I'm gonna tap on the Galaxy Z Flip and straight away it'll start sharing with the other device. You just click accept, it'll start downloading the image and then you'll get a notification when it's all done, just like that. Now swipe down on the notification panel 
you'll see file received, tap on that, and bam, there is the free wallpaper. Now that is pretty nifty. Another super nifty thing you can do within the camera app is when taking a picture, if you click and then slide down on the shutter button, it automatically takes a bunch of burst shots and saves them in your gallery. So when you click on this little button in the left hand side, it takes you off to the gallery app and there you can see all the pictures you just took with your burst shots. On top of that, if you click on this little icon, what that does is it allows you to choose any number of your favorite burst shots that you just took by selecting them. And once you've decided on the ones you want to keep, you just click that download button and it'll ask if you want to discard all the other burst shots or not. What you can also do is then create a GIF with these burst shots. If you click on those three dots and select create GIF, it'll take all your burst shot images and compile it into a GIF and at the bottom here are a bunch of different settings you can use to customize your GIF. So whether you want to speed it up or change the direction, it's totally up to you and you can do it all right over here within this toolbar. And then if you click on this little settings icon within the camera app and scroll down until you see swipe shutter button to edge 2, you can choose to change it from a burst shot to a gif shot. Snapshots are super handy for refining your pictures even further and making magic happen after you've already taken the picture. So let's just say you found a picture but that trash can is really ruining your vibe. Well if you scale up your image just as you see me doing here and reframe it without the trash can and then click on this little icon in the top left hand corner, what that does is it takes a snapshot from the original image and creates a new one still keeping quality in mind. So it is not the same as a screenshot, don't get it twisted guys, it is a snapshot. And here's another great example of this where I zoomed in on this water tower and clicked the snapshot icon to create a brand new image but again still making sure the quality was there. So as you can see I got two great additional images from this original and likewise with this example. So don't forget snapshots. Now everyone has kind of been losing their minds over this 120 hertz refresh rate, but for good reason. And for anyone unsure of what that is or what it even means exactly, it is essentially how quickly your phone's screen responds to your actions. So think of 60 hertz as being a Ferris wheel and 120 hertz as being a roller coaster. It is so, so much faster. And when scrolling through things like Instagram, your gallery, or even settings, with 120 hertz refresh rate, it feels so buttery smooth and basically glitch and lag for it's something quite hard to show and demonstrate because you really have to feel it for yourself to understand how truly epic it is. But still, just so you guys can see and get an idea of it, here's the difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz. It's smooth, it's fast, and it's addictive. Straight out of the box, the S20, S20 Plus, and Ultra are all set to the 60 hertz refresh rate. But to change that, all you have to do is head on over to settings, and then once in there, just click on display, and then right over here, you will see motion smoothness. If you click on that, you can just toggle on high refresh rate of 120 hertz and click apply. And just keep in mind, with this high refresh rate, it will impact your battery life. Night shots have also been improved on the S20 range and to toggle on night mode, you simply go to more and then select night. But what's super interesting is the new technology they've incorporated known as Nona Binning. And this can be quite confusing, but essentially it's taking the information from surrounding pixels and creating one really good pixel to up the quality of your night shots. So here are some examples of the night mode. And as you can see, they are pretty epic. But I would always suggest when taking night mode pictures to use a tripod. You will just naturally get better pictures, especially when the background is super dark like in this example. And then here are just some other examples of pictures I took in night mode and also picture mode but with low light situations. And as you can see, the quality is super amazing and the Nona binning really does make a difference but I do believe this is only on the Ultra. Then by now I'm sure you've heard you can take 8K video and to toggle that on you just click on the ratio icon and to the left hand side you will see the 8K option. So toggle that on and then here's an example of an 8K video captured from my S20 Ultra. But what you can do once you've recorded your 8K video is go back and scrub through it until you find an image that you want to keep and you guessed it, you can take a snapshot of your 8K video. 
So you click on that little icon and it'll save this really high quality image in your gallery where you can use it later on Instagram stories or send it via email, WhatsApp, you name it. And then here's another example I took in portrait mode of this beautiful waterfront. And I really love that just by taking a quick 8K video, you can grab a snapshot, save that to your gallery. And it is really high quality because you are filming in 8K. Let me know in the comment section, guys, would you use this feature? And what do you think of taking snapshots from 8K video? Then if you're looking to spice up that screen of yours, then check out these four fresh wallpapers. I designed them with that hole punch in mind and I'll have a link to my website in the description box. And if you use any of these wallpapers, screenshot a pic of your home screen and tag me on social media because I'd love to see which is your favorite one. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe or you can check out some of my other videos right over here. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Toodles!